Hey, sweet boy. He went to his water bowl to try to drink water, but didn't really drink water, but he was interested, so I thought that was a good sign. Um, but he's pretty lethargic. Um, he also hasn't eaten for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It is now Tuesday since Friday um, because he had the biopsies in his nose and then he crashed and then um, he's doing better than he was, but he's still not great as you can see. Um, we got him all the different kinds of food ever in the world. He could ever want like the, the push-up licky stick things the um we got him like gravies we got him mousse every brand every type like literally like a hundred dollars worth um i got him baby food we haven't tried that yet we're going to um we put some nutrical in his mouth and he swallowed that so that they he has something in there um we are probably not gonna go um do a feeding tube because of how he is already like don't think he would survive that because he'd have to be put under anesthesia and have a hole in his neck and um he already is still bleeding out of his nose um which is a very long time to still be doing that um unfortunately the test that we are supposed to get back like the test results like they don't come back in time to make decisions which is really upsetting like his bobs he won't be back maybe until friday by then it would be too late to let him not have eaten that long and his um, blood like clotting disorder wouldn't be back for weeks. So those aren't able to come back to be a factor, which is really upsetting to me because it'd be so much easier to let him go to be like, oh, there's cancer and we made the cancer really mad in his nose and that's why he's bleeding so much. But um, yeah, so it's, he's just not, he's not looking too good. Um, really hoping that um, being home, he does feel like it looks like he looks like he knows he's home so that's better um than you know being at a clinic and passing away um so we um Nora's out to the store to get a syringe so we could try to put some syringe food in his mouth to just try they didn't try to syringe feed him because his nose is so bad that they were afraid he would aspirate so we're just gonna put a little bit of food in his mouth and see how he does um yeah, he's not like super enjoying his life right now. So we have to um, do what's best for him. And um, if he eats today and he all of a sudden perks up from that, then that'd be like the amazing mir miracle best case scenario um, right now. I'm trying to be hopeful, but I'm also really sad because it could be our last day or two with him. So that's the update on him. And I also wanted to thank everybody who donated for him. like. He got the best care that, that was possible. He was at a specialist. Um, it's like well known in our area and it's a big specialist. I've been there for years and years and years. Um, it's where you take your pet if anything crazy is going on. So the fact that this happened to him is just a crazy one in a million thing. Um, he It could be that he has cancer in his nose and it really made his cancer upset. Um, it, it could be that as a blood clotting disorder and it didn't clot. Like we just we just don't know those answers yet. Um, but right now we're just supporting him. He is stable, um, but as you can see, he's not doing a whole lot. He's very tired from everything. But I just wanted to thank everybody who helped support him and support me and Nora because this has been like the worst nightmare of my life. Um, I just never thought that this would happen i thought it was gonna be a routine and we would take him home and he would be fine and then we'd find out you know like if something bad happened we'd have time with him and we're like if he had cancer we'd know he had cancer so we didn't even know his time is coming um he's an older cat he just turned 13 but cats can live longer than that so i was like okay well he was sneezing and snotting and gagging on his snot because he has chronic sinusitis he's had his entire life and it was controlled on medicine but that stopped working and so it got bad. So I was like, all right, we'll spend the um, expensive money to give him a CT scan and we will do the biopsy up his nose if they see anything. And they did see something, so they did do the biopsy, but it was never ever a thought in my mind that he could, he could almost bleed out and die from that. Like that's just unheard of. So 
if I would have known that, I would have never done that. But also his quality of life was going down before that. So that's why I chose to do that because there we had done everything else possible for him and the doctors told us to take him to the specialist and have that done because that's a normal thing to do if you have the money to do that. It's not like a crazy thing to get um, a biopsy in his nose. So it wasn't like we did like this crazy surgery or anything like that. We didn't even do a surgery. So it's just really upsetting. And I'm still in shock and I go from crying to being okay because I'm like, oh, maybe he'll be all right, you know, like for a minute. And then, um, and then the next minute I'm like, I don't think he's doing so well. So, but all of you guys' support has meant a lot. It's been like a good distraction reading all of your messages. I've tried to respond to the GoFundMe, um, anybody who's donated and the Cash App and the PayPal has helped us so much so that like we didn't have to go into debt over all of his crazy medical bills. Like we had planned on the CT scan and that we knew that was expensive. We had saved the money for that. So, um, yeah, so we did not expect him to have to stay in the hospital over a holiday weekend with special like level three care. So, and it was just crazy. Like our list of, um, what he got done in the hospital is crazy long. So do you like my voice? Am I keeping you awake? One thing that like I was hoping he would when he came home he could sleep for a bit and then we'd try to feed him again but um I know I'm talking right now close to his face but um even when I was sitting across the room from him leaving him alone he would he lays his head down and like he's gonna go to sleep and then he like kind of startles awake but I don't really know what that is exactly and he's on um medicine that might make him a little high but um not lethargic he shouldn't be lethargic like this really I mean, he, he he is lethargic like this because he hasn't eaten, obviously. And he doesn't feel the best. I think he's finally going to sleep. That's great. Oh, no. All right, so that's the update I have for now. I will let you know as soon as I know things. I mostly am updating my GoFundMe and posting in the community post on this page because it's really hard to make videos right now. And I just want to spend the time with Max while I have it and um, with family. So um, it's really cute. The kitten is keeping him company and he comes and lays next to him and stuff um so he's just spending his time with his family and yeah baby all right well we'll give you an update when we can thanks so much for all you guys um well wishes and support